Good morning and welcome back. Welcome back everyone. We're going to start uh, here at the water's edge as we frequently do. What a beautiful place to start the morning at the water's edge. I'm going to ask you to make your wish. All right, fantastic. I made mine. And I tell you what, I've made a lot of wishes at the water's edge. And guess what, folks? Many of those wishes are coming true. I hope you had a really uh, blessed, wonderful weekend. Um, I sure did. I got a lot done. Oh my gosh, you guys, I spy a turtle. Look at this turtle. Hi, you can be in your shell, that's okay. We have a lot of turtles that watch this channel too. Have a great day. <laughs> I hope everyone saw him. Uh, you know, I want to share with you today uh, four words. You know, one of the things that I am so grateful for and that I pray about every morning is the, the blessed opportunity, the blessed opportunity to witness growth, to witness growth and development um, in myself, uh, the people I work with, what what a fabulous what a fabulous gift that we can grow change evolve and the work we put into ourselves pays us back again and again i want to share with you four powerful words these words provide the framework the the most substantial part of all my growth and development uh, I would credit with adopting a stance, a philosophy uh, that consists of four words. And I want to tell you what those words are now. <laughs> Get a pen and paper, set them to memory. And those words are, I am, I am the problem. I am the problem. And you may hear that and say, oh my God, Sheila, you've been so positive. Why are you starting the morning on this negative note? I'm not the problem. I would disagree, folks. I'm gonna tell you why. I am the problem and you are the problem too. So often, we look outside of ourselves for solutions. We get frustrated with people, with circumstances, and inside that frustration, the root cause the root cause, folks, is looking to other people to be your solution. I have to tell you why I revel. I revel in being the problem. <laughs> because if I'm the problem in every circumstance, if I'm the problem, I also get to be the solution. And it has served me very well. Over a decade ago, I was so wrapped up in hurt and resentment about a particular uh, relationship. And you can be so frustrated about a circumstance, a relationship, or an event that the fatigue, the weight of the fatigue and the resentment will collapse your life. And I was so tired. And I have to tell you, I prayed the most powerful prayer that I believe anyone can pray and that is uh, Father deal with me <laughs> deal with me whatever you come up with that's what it's gonna be because I'm really tired of this I want to go on stride and glide in my life and it came as clear as clear as day a couple days later I kept hearing in my spirit you are the problem what yeah, Sheila, you are the problem. I'm the problem. No, they're the problem. Uh-uh, you are the problem. Went further into, into that statement, peeled it apart, and wouldn't you know that that was my passport out? I was the problem. The way I was looking at the situation, expecting things that I thought were so simple expecting things from a relationship, standing in front of uh, the well 
asking for water and the well had run dry. So it wasn't about this person is so, so crazy. This person is a buffoon. They're ignorant. Why can't they just see common sense and logic? Uh-uh. Because you know what that does? That empowers, that empowers them to have power over you. Whenever someone else is your problem, they also by default have to be your solution. And if they are the solution and not willing to hand that key of freedom and redemption over to you, you're going to have a bigger problem. So I would submit to you, I would submit to you that in all things, great, small, in between, make yourself the problem. Make yourself the problem. And I promise you, you will come up with the solution tenfold, ten times faster. I'm not getting the love I want. I am the problem. <laughs> uh, the breakthrough job is not coming through. I am the problem. What might the solution be? Because if I'm the problem and I have to find the solution, I'm going to go inside myself and stop looking. Stop looking for an external solution, folks. But they won't behave. They won't act right. I am the problem. I am depressed. I am anxious. I am the problem. You get where I'm coming from, folks? This is not about, it's not about alienation. It's not about abuse. It's not about being down on yourself. It is about keeping yourself empowered. And I said again and again, we're living in very different times, folks. This world is fast paced. Um, it's a beautiful place to be and there's some lovely people, but there is a prolific rise of disregard, uh, casual cruelty, people being inconsistent, not doing what they say they're gonna do, just a lot of things that will trip you up. And if you are looking outside of yourself in any shape, form, or fashion for external solutions, validation, you're gonna be wrapped in frustration, guys. So I, you know, a lot of people think this channel is the solution or a solution. It's not. This channel is just here to support you in a compassionate, loving way. I'm supporting you as the problem. I'm the problem, you're the problem, and the solutions, the divine solutions combined with the guidance of the hand of God, that is it. That is our key, everyone. So I want you to chew on that. I want you to chew on that a little bit. It's about taking personal responsibility personal responsibility and accountability for yourself. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to have an awesome week on the trails, and I'll see you soon.